Hi, I'm Brian. Welcome to Syntax Technologies. Today, we'll continue with our SQL Accounting System training. Today's topic will be Purchase Request. Let's get started. In SQL Accounting software, go to Purchase module, and the first transaction you'll see will be Purchase Request. Normally, you use Purchase Request is when your company have a purchase department. If your company have a purchasing department, where all the purchasers need to send requests to the manager to get approval, then only can do the next step, purchase order. Sometimes people will use this to key in quotation from their supplier and as a record. So to do purchase request, just click into purchase request. If you have created any purchase request before, there will be a list of all the purchase requests. Since there's none, let's create a new one. Just click new, select the supplier, you do not need to scroll and look for the supplier. Just type the name of the supplier. Let's say Empire, E-M. You're able to find the supplier. Select your item code. Let's say SQL. You can select the item using the item code description or description tool. If you want to select the code, now you can see the focus is at description. That means you use description for searching purpose. If you want to change to code, you just need to click the tab key on your keyboard. Tap, you can see the focus jump to description tool. Tap, tap, then it go to code. So let's select SQL. So the pricing description, everything will come up accordingly. If you want to key in more description and it's not available here, as normal, when you see column in SQL, you can just right click any column title, field chooser, and select and drag out the available field. Example, more description, just drag, drop, and you can key in accordingly. If you do not want that column, you can just, let's say here, right click, remove this column or right click view chooser and drag the column put back into view chooser. Or you can just click on the small icon with multiple lines and tick accordingly to make the column appear. Let's say the unit price will be 900 ringgit. Save it, done. So this is a purchase request. You can preview the document, select the template you want, example this one. All documents in SQL can be print out directly or select the export icon, export to PDF. Let's say put a desktop. So it will be exported to PDF format. So you can attach in your email. Or you can directly open web WhatsApp and WhatsApp to your supplier. So basically, this is how you create a purchase request. So it will be listed out in the listing in the front page in for purchase request. If you are interested in SQL accounting software or you want to sign maintainer with us, please contact us directly. Once again, thank you for watching. I'm Brian. See you in the next video. Thank you.